okay, this is it. That's the molecule. That is the molecule that determines the color of your skin. And now you know how. You know that it's a melanocyte, a super amazing like octopus looking cell that is found in the deepest layer of your epidermis. And that we all have the same number. Dude, that's amazing. And that we can have different colors of skin, even though we have the same number of melanocytes, we can have different colors of skin because of the flavor of melanin produced or the number of melanocytes or how melanosomes or how full those melanosomes are. That's it. That's it. That's how we end up with skin color. And yet, skin color is racialized. It's not accurate. There are no, there's no biological basis for race. The color of your skin doesn't tell you who you are most closely related to. It doesn't tell you anything. It doesn't tell you about your pain tolerance. It doesn't tell you about your brain capacity. It doesn't tell you how hard your bones are or how thick your skin is or how your kidneys function. Nope, it doesn't. It tells you how much melanin your melanocytes are making. That's it. That's all it's telling you. It's an easy thing to use to control and belittle humans. It's a very visible characteristic. But just like no one would say I'm more closely related to humans with blue eyes than I am to humans with brown eyes because I guarantee I'm more closely related to my brown-eyed cousins than my blue-eyed husband. Thank goodness. The amount of melanin in your skin doesn't tell you who you're most closely related to. And it doesn't tell you what your body is capable of. My blue eyes don't tell you that I actually have increased risk of heart disease in my family. <laughs> my eye color doesn't link with that. And you wouldn't draw that conclusion. You wouldn't say, oh, well, Riggs's husband also has blue eyes, therefore he's probably at a higher risk for heart disease too. <laughs> That's absurd. Of course we wouldn't say that. Skin color is created by this molecule and that's it. And that's the end of the story. And that's all I'm going to say. I think you are all spectacular. I wish you were here. I'd give you high fives and hugs and woof woofs. We got work to do, folks.